you go to Mexico, don't drink the water. Vietnam? You guys are going to Vietnam? I don't know what the water's like in Vietnam. In Vietnam. <laughs> That's pretty good though. Are you okay? He's <laughs> so going to go in the video. <laughs> Hey guys, this is week 30. This is our final video of our vlog series of how to plan for 12 months of travel. We thought we'd put together some travel advice and relationship advice from our family and some of our friends. So we hope you enjoy. If you had one piece of advice for Michael and I, what would it be? Enjoy the world that everything it has to offer. Make sure you come back safely. Don't rush back. The best thing is to always compromise. Find a way to make things work. I guess to not sweat the small stuff. Sort of go off the beaten path. Don't get tricked into being a drug mule. What you're doing is above and beyond phenomenal. Don't drink water from the public well, and public bathrooms are sometimes not recommendable in some areas. Honestly, just take your time. Don't be in a rush and don't make foolish, like hasty decisions because it's so easy to just get caught up in a moment and, and make a quick decision because you're worried about missing a moment. You can't always have it your way, he can't always have it his way, so you gotta find a way to make things work together and that's I think what makes the relationship balance out. Just laughing it off whenever something doesn't go right works the best. You guys are gonna be in, in some weird situations where you may be getting too much of each other or you guys are gonna have to make decisions on certain things. If you compromise and you put the, each other's interests at heart, I think you guys are gonna have a good time. Even when you're feeling stressed <clears throat> or your partner's feeling stressed, the best question is, what can I do to help? Talk to the locals. Get a sense of like what's really going on in the places you're visiting. So you have to change the way you act because there's different ways you have to act in different countries. Different cultures, eat ice cream, go in pools, and be healthy. Play with water. Don't worry too much about us guys. Just live the experience and come back whenever you're ready to come back. I'm somewhat jealous of the opportunity that you guys are having mm -hmm. of seeing so much of the world that you are very careful in your travels and be conscious of your whereabouts. Make sure that you enjoy every moment of your trip. Chris, it's in your DNA to travel. Your grandfather was a sailor, and his, his father was a sailor. It's in your blood to explore new countries, new places. I have to communicate an awful lot. And decide in advance what you want to do, compromise, go with the flow, because what you're going to plan is not going to necessarily happen. On vous souhaite beaucoup de santé là-bas, du respect entre les deux. J'espère que vous allez vivre votre rêve. Et que votre rêve va se réaliser jusqu'au bout. You're going to be Canadian ambassadors, really, is what you're going to be. So be good Canadian ambassadors, if that's one thing I can tell you guys to do. Show them what Canadians are really like. Ça serait de, mon Dieu, de vous garder ensemble et de garder un œil un sur l'autre pour la santé et l'aventure. Get pregnant. <laughs> Je n'ai pas de conseil à vous donner. Mais je n'ai pas à m'inquiéter de vous deux, parce que vous êtes deux anciens voyageurs. Vous avez voyagé tous les deux, chacun de votre côté. Je ne vois pas pourquoi c'est que ça marcherait. Ça ne marcherait pas. Just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself. Do what you want to do and take day by day. Don't go and make no arrangements for the morning. Just whatever you got to do, wake up in the morning, do whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter where you go. It matters who you go with and drink lots of water and Corona. Matt Hernandez is one piece of advice, mingle with the locals. Don't give up. It's so easy to give up. Go back to regular jobs, home, family. Don't give up. Awesome. Embrace every moment. If you're sitting there and you're like, I'm really tired today, we could go for a hike, take the hike. Take the adventure. My one piece of advice is definitely buddy system. Definitely know where each one of you are at all times if I don't have like a panic attack on the other side of the world. Not everything will go as planned and that those will make the best memories. Despite the fact that you're on an adventure together, to make sure that you take time to have individual experiences as well. That way you're both growing from something maybe a little bit different. One piece of advice comes to mind and that is do not forget to enjoy icy cold pints wherever you go. 
I'm like, oh, and then when I got back, I'm like, man, nothing changed. Everybody's still where they are. My friends are still at the bar and like family is like, you know, still doing the same thing. And I'm like, oh, I should have just stayed where I was. <laughs> My advice is just have fun. Having a good time. Enjoy it though. Have fun. Have fun. Go. Have fun. Have fun. I suggest you have the time of your life. Have fun. Have fun. Just go have fun. We'll miss you. A lot. We'll really miss you. Bye. There you go. Is that good enough? That's good. Okay. <laughs> All right, rather than giving you guys a tip for your upcoming trip, we thought we'd issue you a challenge. And what we want to do is we want to challenge you to once a week during your upcoming trip to actually have a meaningful conversation with a local of that country. And if you guys are having trouble, because sometimes it's tough to get locals to sit down and have a chat, we recommend inviting them for a cup of tea. We hear that works. All right, have fun, have fun. guys. <laughs>